hello guys it's your boy habib educate and today's video this is gonna be an impression okay in this video i'm gonna tell you much about this microphone because i've been using it for the past you know two to three months so i have a lot of experience on this microphone here yeah so i'm gonna share with you how it works and some of the things that i like and what i dislike and how they're supposed to you know um i think okay yeah some of the things that i like and what i dislike about this microphone because i've been using it for the past you know two or three months as i said earlier because i use it a lot so due to that you know this side of the microphone has spores so without wasting my time, let's dive into it. All right, welcome guys. If this is the first time or this is your first time on this channel, don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the notification bell so that whenever I upload a new video, you will be the first person to be notified. So today's video is going to be an impression, okay? Impression on the super unidirectional condenser microphone as some call it interview microphone. And others to this same, you know, microphone, it has different names. Though it's the same thing but different brands as I knew some is is it panasonic or yeah something like that so let me you know start okay all right so let's turn it away so go this way like this then boom here we go so these are some of the things that the microphone comes with so here is the anti-wind foam you know yeah it is good as you can see that's where we will fix the microphone the anti-wind foam let me put it aside here is the microphone itself you know they wrap it in this such so that it to prevent it from you know dust and other stuff so here is the microphone itself <coughs> can you see that what is that okay unidirectional whatever so this is how it is okay this is how it is can you see all right so when you twist it like this open it it uses you know a 1.5 volt battery whether you have an energizer or any of the batteries just fix it in you know it doesn't come with these batteries okay i bought them and i've been using it since i got it so just fix it this way and that's it okay so be mindful of how to fix it and how it is showed inside so don't do it like this do it like this so that's it let me put this aside so these are adapters okay we have two adapters this you use it to adjust the microphone on so for this one like this it goes with i have something here it goes with this okay so just fix it can you see but before that you screw it then you have the space fix it in it's just like a socket and uh, you know something like that just join it there then after that put the microphone here to adjust it and that's it it will be on it whether using your mobile phone for the shooting or camera so that's just by the way but let me demonstrate it here it goes this way okay can you see that's how it is so the adapters are two so for this one this kind of adapter it goes with something like this where you can fix it in there can you see and can you see the base so you just fix it in but for this one it goes with a boom pool do you know a boom pool if you know a boom pool leave a comment in the comment section down below it goes with a book uh, a boom pool you just screw here on top of the boom pool so after screwing 
and just the microphone on top so mostly when you are shooting movies you know and you want to pick the sound but you don't want the microphone to be closer to you know the actors that's where you connect it to the boom pool the boom pool is just something like a stick you know a tall pool or something like a stick yeah you know where it's like this and you hold it and stand afar okay and point it on top of the you know actors and they'll be talking and you know yeah it is you know flexible and movable let me let me uh -huh. all right so now can you see this there are two it's a pair of audio uh, jack adapter converter stereo plug socket okay i repeat a pair of audio jack adapter converter stereo plug socket and what do we use it for <laughs> for that one i think we'll plug this you know the tip of the cable into them it's not even entry now okay so like this then maybe join it to an amplifier or whatever but that's it let me put it aside so for this cable this is an xlr cable okay xlr cable can you see here as you can see that's the cable and the full name of it is 1.8 meter 3 pin xlr male to xlr female microphone cable okay is a 1.8 meter 3 pin xlr male to xlr female microphone cable so for this xlr cable you fix it here but check it out okay so that you not damage the xlr pins okay then you leave it can you see that then you connect this you can connect it to either your mobile phone or a camera but for me because i'll be using mobile phone to shoot i do connect it with my mobile device okay so like this then you add the foam here can you see that so after adding the foam if you have a boom pool <laughs> but see i even forgot to add the put the battery in then you close it okay so remember to remove the lead battery after using the microphone or else when it get corroded it will destroy the you know battery area so this is it then connect the plug to your mobile device and if you have a boom pool which you want to use it with then you just add this adapter then you are good to go it's so easy that's just by the way so can you see this microphone let me tell you what i like and what i dislike about this microphone all right so can you see here um the, the the pin side is too heavy okay so mostly when i connect it to my mobile device and i'm shooting a long distance video where i will you know expand the cable it shakes so when it shakes like that it affects the audio sometimes after shooting or taking so many time to shoot the video later on when i sit down for editing then you realize that the sound has not picked because it was shaking in the plug you both so because it's shaking in the plug it did not pick so to this i think the reason is because this side is too heavy yeah for the pin is cool it will enter but here is too heavy they should have done it lighter or a bit lighter you understand and smaller it's too heavy that is why it's shaking so if you ever use this and had the same experience leave a comment in the comment section down below okay yeah. so this is the microphone and that's how it works okay so how did you see this impression yeah apart from that i like everything about it okay the lead is cool everything with the adapters the foam and whatever 
and the sound too, when it peaks, the sound is pure and quality. But when it shakes, that's where the problem is. So you who use mobile phone to, you know, shoot your videos, to me, according to my, you know, estimation, I will advise you to buy this microphone. You know why? Yeah, because mostly it's good with a camera. So if you are if you are not using a camera and you know you are using a mobile phone, then I'm sorry, this will not be good for you. Though I don't know your phone's plug, whether it won't shake, okay? But this experience I had, it shakes. So to buy a microphone, I would recommend you buy a different one. So after, you know, connecting the XLR mail cable, okay? So let's assume the LED batteries inside. I want to show you something here. This is where we on it with. No, let me remove the you know foam. Okay. So this is where we I want to teach you something about the switch. Okay. So as you can see, you can see tele, you can see normal, and you can see off. So if you want to shoot, okay, for long distance, and I want to show you how it works, okay. So switch on and push the switch to the first achieve that's the tele okay and the tele is for short distance i repeat the tele is for short distance so if you are going to use it for interviews use the tele all right but for long distance then bring it to the middle or yeah the middle which is the normal so after that you want to off it you can pull it down but the middle is for long distance which is the normal and the top or the first one which is the tele is for short distances so you can use it for interview okay but to buy this you know i'll leave the link in the description below just hit it and it will take you direct to jumia where you can get the quality yeah this one too is the quality okay you can get it and the lapel so you can buy those on the link in the description i'll leave the link in the description is important okay don't forget to like subscribe the more you like and subscribe you help the channel to grow but if you also want to learn how to become a jumia affiliate and start earning money i will leave the link in the description below what this video okay i did it to teach you how to become a jumia affiliate and start earning on jumia a mobile phone with a type c charger or an iphone then i'll recommend you buy a lapel okay yeah this one the one on the screen but if you can't afford that one i'll recommend you buy um the one that you can pin it with your shirt and speak yeah this one right there okay so that's it how do you see this video that's all the impression and you know don't forget to like subscribe and hit the notification bell so that whenever i upload a new video you will be the first person to be notified. It's your boy Habib Educate and I leave you in peace. Salam.